Paul said uh, he was dealing with this petty politics in the church. And he said, I hear there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. He said, one saith, I'm of Apollos. See, that comes from that nature I'm talking about. One saith, I'm Cephas, and some of Apollos. I don't like Apollos, I don't like Cephas. Uh, another said, I'm of Paul. I don't like Paul, someone else said. So then one said, well, I can't go with Paul, can't go with Cephas, can't go with uh, any of them, Apollos. So I'll, I'll, I'll go with Christ. Christ is mine. Uh, and he said, now I hear there's divisions among you. And he said, uh, uh, are, are you not carnal? In other words, are you not carnal? In other words, that, that seed is not planted in you and producing. You're carnal because there's a carnal manifestation. When there's a carnal manifestation in your life, that means the seed is not taking root sufficiently. Amen. See, it means you're not perfect. It means that uh, you, you and I have to let that seed, the seed, go down into the soil. The seed doesn't uh, bring forth on a rock. Uh, the womb brings forth life. The womb is not the surface of the woman. It's the inner part of her being. Yes. It is where life is. Surface relationship with God can never bring forth anything. Uh, you must let his seed go beyond surface relationship. Yes. Go down into your being, yes. into your spirit, Come on. into your heart, because there's where birth can take place. Birth never can take place on the tip of the finger. There was never a child born on the tip of the hand. Uh, there has to be a wound in a person when they make a covenant with God. See, if you make, a, if there's a wound develops in you tonight, you won't leave here unless you're right with God. That's right, amen. You may have been here 1,000 times, and this is your 1,000th one night. But you never change. That's right. But you will not leave here. You'll have them call home, tell the wife, nothing's wrong with me. I'm not out of the bar. I, I'm, I'm at the church. Amen. I'm going to be here like I change. Yes. I'm going to be here like I get the seed plant. Amen. Go ahead and go to bed, honey, if you want to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay here until I get the seed plant. I'm going to stay here and pray. We used to have all night prayer meetings. We used to pray people through sometime, two o'clock in the morning. They finally come through. Uh, because it took that long for them to make the change. But uh, see, if you've got a womb in you tonight, then the seed can come into you and you won't leave until you have the victory. Amen. <laughs> until you have the victory. And you'll come back tomorrow and... Uh, might not even planning to be here tomorrow because there's not enough seed growing. Don't have enough want to. Not enough energy. Not enough desire. Uh, but, but suddenly you've got more desire than you can cope with. You've got more energy than you can find. Somebody said, come this way. No, I'm not going that way. I know where I'm going. I, I, I come over here. No, I'm not going over there because the seed is in me and it's planted and it's growing up. And the first thing you know, you walk in and you look in the mirror, you don't see the old ground, you see a blade. Yes. Then the next thing you see, uh, a corn, uh, and, and, and full corn in the ear then. Because the seed is growing. It's Christ in you. In him you're living and moving and having your being. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise That's change. That's change. That's a covenant with God. And, and Paul said, I'm going to get through here in a moment. Um, because uh, I, I want this lesson to be profitable. Uh, but uh, Paul said, now look, um, I have planted. Did you ever see a man plant without some seed? <coughs> Did you ever see a farmer go out and plant without seed? Uh, he has to have seed, doesn't he? Yes, sir. Has something to plant, doesn't he? Yes, sir. If you know a man of God cannot plant, the Word of God if he doesn't have the Word of God? That's right. Did you, did you know if the man doesn't have the Word of God, he can't plant the Word of God? That's right. And then if, if he has the Word of God, he can't plant the Word of God unless there's something besides stony ground or ground with thorns growing up in it. You can only plant that in good ground. It's got to go in good ground. So if, if you're not interested or you're turned off or you never read your Bible or you don't pray or you're not truly converted, are you not truly changed? I'm just wasting my time. As far as you're concerned, 
because I'm talking, but everything I'm saying is going off a stony ground or standing in alum and thorns where the thorns are choking it out. Uh, see, because the seed has to go into good ground where there can be a covenant made. And then when that covenant is made, then first the blade then, so Paul said, I planted. How many believe Paul planted in some people's heart? Oh, yeah. If he hadn't planted somebody's heart, I wouldn't be here right now. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul said, I plant. I plant. Thank God for the policy around the water. Yes. You may need some water after I sit down here in a few minutes. Oh, there's an Apollos around somewhere. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. We need an Apollos in the church. To water. Yeah, when the word is planted, we need an Apollos to water it. But he said, now the Apollos is good and and, uh, and Paul is good. But he said, don't, don't glorify Paul. No. Don't glorify Apollos uh, because there's another one. Yeah. There's another one that gives the increase. Uh, yeah. Come on, somebody. Praise the name yeah. of the Lord. If you know the one that's going to give the increase in your heart is not Brother Marlowe. No. I'm going to preach tonight. I'm going to obey God. I'm going to do what God wants me to do. Maybe there'll be an Apollos to water it. But it's going to take the God of heaven. Yeah. Amen. I said the God of heaven. Yeah. Amen. I said the God of heaven. My God, I feel him here. Praise the name of the Lord. It's going to take the God of heaven to uh, give the increase. There'll be no increase. There'll be no increase without the God of heaven. So then when the increase comes, uh, and, and, uh, and, and uh, did, you know, uh, did, did you know that I have a, I have a right? I have a right to um, uh, say uh, that God uh, loves me. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you the first reason I have a right to say God loves me is because he created me. Yes, sir. Did you ever create anything you didn't love? Well, you're up wrong. If you did, you're up wrong. Uh, you're a little wacko. You ever create something you didn't love? You ever plant a garden and hate it? <laughs> Have a child, not love a child? That's not normal. The Creator loves what He creates. I said, the Creator loves what He creates. He created me. And because He created me, He loves me. Guaranteed fact. God does not hate one child that ever opens the womb of one birth mother. They cause Him to hate our God will not hate. God did not hate Esau because Esau was born the brother of Jacob. God hated Esau because Esau made a decision to sell his birthright for a, a, a portion of the flesh. But God doesn't hate, God loves. And I know, uh, see I know that I, I know God loves me because he created me. And, 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 uh, see, I, I don't know if I can get that, uh, yes, yes, the, the, the other thing, the other thing that I know God loves me is because God preserves me. See, first of all, you know God loves you. Uh, take away the doubt in the church. Does God love me? Yes, God loves me. Uh, uh, and then the second thing is, he preserved me. He can let me die. How many could have died in here with accidents, with disease? Yeah. You ever have a fever that could have killed you? You ever have an infection that could have killed you? Did you ever have an accident that could have killed you? Why well, sure you have. Life is a hazard to its place. It's an ill. But who, who caused you not to die? The love of God. The same creator that loves you because he created you, he preserves you. And he shows his love see, because he preserves you. E. coli in my body. 107 degrees temperature. Put in ice in Manatee Memorial. And I could have died. Oh my God. But I didn't die. I lived. Well, who caused that? God caused that. Because he loved me. Because he created me. And he preserved me. Praise the name of the Lord. And the third thing, the reason I'll be happy tonight in church and shout some and give all of God and really have a jubilee this weekend and have a camp meeting here. The, 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 the other reason is that's true. The third reason uh, that, that I know uh, that God loves me is because after he created me, 
And while he preserves me, he redeemed me. Yes. Yes. I said he redeemed me. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Rejoice. Rejoice. Hallelujah. 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 I wish the church would be an old time thing. tell you something right now. Brother, as long as I keep covenant with God, God will not let anybody overcome me. I will not go down. I'll come up. If I go down, I'll get back up. I am confident standing in this pulpit tonight that I am a champion with Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ and I are more than the conqueror. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I, 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 I'm confident no enemy is going to ride over my head. The floods will not drown me. Lies will not cause me to quit preaching. I will not lose my desire. I'll keep my tongue. God will give me strength. I am a happy, happy man of God tonight. You ought to be a happy, happy child of God. Praise him. I don't care what pain you feel. It is not going to conquer you. Say it with me. It is not going to conquer me. If you have a disease in your body tonight, say in the name of Jesus, it is not going to come for me. Amen. If you're going through financial setback, shout it out right now. I'll come out of it. I'll come out of it. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's stop and praise him here. Let's stop and praise him. Let's stop and praise him. Let's give him the glory. If there's somebody in the shadows tonight around the back of my house, when I go home, I don't have to fear because God will preserve me. He will send a legion of angels and put them around my house and I will sleep like a baby. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If there's a drunk driver headed my way, he will not hit me because I am loved. I am preserved. I am protected. I am kept because there is a covenant in my life. There is a seed in me and I am born again. Praise the name of the Lord. And by the grace of God, he will keep me. All right. Everybody praise him. Everybody give him thanks. Everybody give him praise. Amen. We want to we wanna pray for God's people tonight. We want you to pray us first of all. I want to tell you, Brother R.L. Daniels went to be with the Lord this morning. And uh, uh, Brother Daniels is in the hands of heaven. And he's at his long-awaited home. And he's with the Lord. And we want to, we want to uh, keep uh, the Daniels family. Services will be sometime this week. Paul, his grandson, is here in the church for the Paul Scripture. We want to keep the Daniels family in prayer. We want to keep all the rest of God's people in prayer. And here's saints coming for prayer. And I want uh, I want some faith-believing elders to step up here. I want